In this video, I'm going to go over how to configure the email notification settings for WooCommerce. To get to this page on your left sidebar from your dashboard, you're going to select WooCommerce and you're going to click settings down here. And lastly, you're going to click this email tab up top, which it gets you to a page that looks a little bit like this. So there's different types of emails. Um, there's notification emails for you and then there's notification emails for your customers. And that'll be shown right here under recipients. You can see all the ones that have your email address. Of course, these are for you. And any of these are for the customer and the email address that they'll enter. So to change the way an email looks, the way the words, uh, you know, the verbiage, everything, a little bit different for your store maybe. Um, for example, if there's a new order, this is a notification for you, letting you know that you now have an order that you have to take care of. Just click on the name of the rule or the notification to bring it up. You can see there's just a couple little settings here. Um, if you want to disable this notification altogether, you have another method of knowing that you have an order or you just manually refresh. You can disable it right here. You can change the recipients for this notification as well here. So this will be your site admin address. But if you wanted more, uh, you can just do comma and then another email. So test at example.com, for example, will now get this email as well. Then here we can change the subject. Um, you can see that there's some available placeholders such as site title, the site address, um, the site's URL, uh, the date that the product was ordered, and the order number. So generally the default's fine, which is just saying, um, for example, this is Willie's Wild Wings in Waco, Texas. So the email it'll show up as Willie's Wild Wings in Waco, Texas, new order, and it'll show the order number. Generally, that's fine. That shows you the gist of which site the order came from, that you have a new order, and then that new order's number. Clicking on that email, of course, would give you all the details, along with some additional content down at the bottom. WooCommerce, by default, has this nice little message that says congratulations on the sale, but if you wanted to change it to specific instructions on how to handle a sale afterwards for your employees or someone like that, you can do that right here as well. Lastly, we can change the email type. It defaults to HTML. Um, that's your pretty looking emails, um, the ones with the logos, the ones that are formatted well, very readable. Um, but if for some reason you have either a slow internet connection or you have an email client or an email reader that doesn't really work too well with those new um, uh, complex email templates or things like that, you can change it to plain text, which means now just a bunch of letters and numbers come over and uh, it'll be properly formatted, but it gets the job done. Generally, we recommend keeping it on HTML just because it's a lot more readable, a lot more modern looking, and uh, it uh, doesn't get as, uh, get as boring as time goes on, shall, shall we say. So once you're happy with the settings you hit here, you can hit Save Changes, and it'll change the sa uh, save the changes for your email notification settings for that particular thing we just changed. You can see down here, we have different ways to uh, edit different templates. Then all the way down here, we have some additional options. This will be the name that the email address comes from. Generally, you just want to keep that as the site name. Uh, the from address, which will be the uh, email address that the email will be coming from. Generally, you want to keep this the same domain name as your website, so it won't trigger any anti-spam and uh, cause you to miss an email. Then down here, if you wanted to, you can upload a header image and point it to the URL right here in case you wanted to get rid of the default WooCommerce header image. You can change the footer text here. So instead of saying, um, you know, your site title dash built with and then WooCommerce, you could say like, um, learn more about us at this page or, uh, or you know, get our privacy policy here, view our return policy, things like that. Um, a really powerful thing just to put at the bottom of the email for customers who get that notification. There's always a way to drive some more engagement right there. Lastly, here we have a couple theme options here. So we can change the base color. Um, that'll be your accents, the back, uh, some of the background colors, and just that little color splash. Um, by default, it's this purple here, but we can click here, change it to any color we like. The background color of the page which will be, uh, it's a centered format, so this will be the background color of the page, and then the background color of where the text is, generally we recommend to keep that white, and then the body text color, which is just the color of the text on the page. Once again, once you're happy with all these changes, you can hit save, and now your email notification settings have been updated for WooCommerce. If you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to let us know. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.